and kiss my ass, please. Kiss my ass. What's happening? This Cadillac Kimberly, I'm back on deck. And I want to say out the gate, not enough people know they can kiss my ass. They really think I'm playing. I'm dead ass serious. Please kiss my ass. How you doing? I missed you. I hadn't been around in a minute. Been trying to get it in. But I'm back and I'm at Super Nails in Marietta on Carl Parkway where I've been coming for the last 14 years. Satisfaction guaranteed. The elite come. And a lot of my followers come like Weezy's wife. What's up, baby? I met Tony's, honey. You know how he does. He gets down. No fungus over here. And the fat girls, y'all can sit in the chairs over here. He ain't charging five dollars like them bootleg ass companies, okay? Good people over here. No fungus, no foul, okay? The bootleg, Bonnie and Clyde, T.I. and Tiny. What can we say? Really, we shouldn't have shit to say. They ought to have something to say, like a motherfucking apology. That should have came off the rip. T you know, do you know how many people T went to bat for you? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you spat in everybody's face. They tried to help you out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all walking around with dope and, and smelling like weed riding around in Maybachs just shitting on us. We done prayed for y'all. Gave y'all front seats down there with Rapunzel, Bishop Eddie Long, getting the word. You obviously ain't listening, so I expect you to, you know, give up those seats for some real Christians, okay? Because y'all ain't listening. Okay, you're hiding the motherfucker. You already was talking about how you want a pill in the head. You dead ass serious. If she walking around with all them pills on her, they ecstasy. Not American Express. You can leave home without it. God damn. That was the most embarrassing shit. And you know, and Tiny, I fought you more than anything. Because he bringing in the bread. You ain't doing shit. You ain't doing a damn thing. But fucking up the money and fucking up his image. Okay, bitch, your job is to fuck him. What the hell wrong with you? And you need to watch The Sopranos, Tiny, because Carmela Soprano would have never let this kind of shit happen with Tony. You think Tony Soprano would walk around with some goddamn exercise on him and he already dirty? I'm the motherfucking fucking one who calls the shots. And you better pay me the respect that I gave your brother or we're gonna have a problem. You was a low down dirty bitch. You ain't got no backbone. You don't have no hustle about you. I can't believe you from Bankhead. And I don't believe you give good head. Not doing no bullshit like this. So my thing is... T.I. I need to get rid of your ass and at first I didn't understand how come you had that eyebrow piercing for so long since it escaped and I understand now you just stupid but my thing is give up the seats at uh, New Birth because somebody else need to hear from Rapunzel y'all ain't listening okay when Rapunzel speaks y'all need to shut the fuck up and let the real Christians listen because y'all don't give a damn y'all don't have no respect for everybody that try to help your ass just spat in their face and I believe you ought to get all the motherfucking time they give your ass every day and then do somebody else time too with your ungrateful ass Anyway, uh, Eddie Long, don't, don't, don't thank you out the clear now. Let me talk about your ass for a minute, good bishop. Okay, <laughs> Rapunzel. Okay, people emailing me talking about your sexuality. They questioning it. They told me to ask you where you stand. So holler back if you want to respond to the people. <laughs> okay, they saying you're wearing your wife weave and the tight clothes. So what she got left to do? Okay, who the woman in the relationship? We confused. <laughs> We're takers, gents. That's what we do for a living. Take. I went to see Takers last night, honey, and I just want to say thank you for whoever caught that shot of Idris coming out the bed, baby, with that big gorilla dick. That shit made my day. I hollered at the screen. I thank you, whoever shot that. Oh, my God. Oh, Idris, I thank you. Uh, that was just boss. That was just boss. Honey, my pussy got wetter than boil okra. I'm talking about it was slick. I had to take off my drawers and pliers. I'm telling you, it was serious. Ghost, when did you get out? Why? You miss me. You need to back up. Easy, Jake. I'm here to discuss the future. T.I., you look like a joke in that movie. If you had come out before you got caught again, we might have taken you serious. But uh, ain't nobody checking for your uh, your low weight rubber band ass. Sit on that. <laughs> we know ain't no way in the hell you get away with no shit like that because your ass always get caught. <laughs> And that to me, y'all bit too much off of heat. It was a little bit too much like heat. I think it wasn't enough originality. But that was some good gangster shit, how them Russians came in. That was some good warfare. I appreciated that. You know, I can always appreciate some good violence being from Bankhead. I ain't asking for it, I'ma take Everybody's asking me uh, what I think about Jennifer Hudson. Everybody emailed me, Cadillac, Cadillac, you think she had gastric bypass? You think, you know, she had this, that, and the other, the tummy tuck? I don't know, and I don't give a damn, okay? I know she look good. I'll take that size. I don't want no surgery or nothing. But, Jennifer, you look good to me. But everybody said, be careful, girl. You're going to have that Star Jones bobblehead look if you keep on. I don't know what to say. I don't know what I think, besides the fact that your husband look gay. And uh, also, uh, I wanted to touch on everybody asking me what I think about The Housewives of D.C. That is the most nursing home show that's been out since months. 
Hanukkah show. You talking about some good sleep. Uh, I don't watch that bullshit, but the one time I did, I did decide that I will fuck that black woman's husband. Honey, everybody got at me about at flirtingflutterlashloft.com and how I went in on their ass. First of all, let's get clear. I don't go in. I speak the truth. If I went in, I have a Teflon vest. I don't go in. I just speak the truth. But everybody got back to me and let me know that they concurred, and I appreciate the feedback. I mean, even people on Oprah's level, some of Oprah's people had gone there and were dissatisfied. So I feel good to know that I'm putting the truth out there and that people are receiving it. So um, big up to me, okay? I'm going to brush my own shoulder off when he finishes my nails because that was some ball shit how y'all let me know that I was keeping it 100 and that you had had some fucked up experiences, not about the lashes, which I was blowing up all the time when she was boss at. That's all she ever did for me. But I got people coming at me telling me all kind of experiences they had. So I want to let you know I appreciate the feedback. Keep it coming. And all the inside information I get about all these different companies, y'all keep it coming like all that shit I know about the housewives. Y'all keep that shit coming. I like to know what's going on. But yeah, over at flirtingflutterlashlife.com where they doing that fucked up business. You know, uh... Uh, Shay's old man Spence, he used to always be embarrassed about how Shay would talk to him in front of other people But I'm sure he doesn't do that shit anymore since I've talked to that whole ass bitch the way I did. How you doing Shay? Exactly what I was doing. You can't accidentally take a whole bottle of pills. Fantasia and Oprah, honey, the two of dumbest women of last week. Y'all get the certificate. It should be coming in the mail. Uh, Fantasia, let's start off with your ass. Let me see it because you can't read it if I put it in a letter with your dumb ass. Oh, Lord, help me get strength. I got so much about this bitch. Unfortunately, the suicide didn't work. And you still here, so we got to deal with that. And <laughs> what kind of PR people and management people you got? They ain't give you no type of rehab. They said, bitch, come from the hospital to the Good Morning America so we can take the rest of your money. <laughs> Okay, I'm mad at you, Fantasia, not because you tried to commit suicide, and not because you read on the first grade level, and not because you are so ignorant and do not keep, with your, keep up with your finances enough to where you have a declined pizza order on your card. I'm not upset with you for being ignorant to the point where you have this woman's husband's name tattooed on your chest, you know, and he probably tricked your ass and told you it said Jesus because you can't tell. I'm not upset with you about all that. I'm upset with you because you got the game fucked up. You said on your reality show that in this industry you have to kiss some ass. Use one dumb bitch. And anybody who watched that and believes that, please do not follow Fantasia. You do not have to kiss ass in this business when you know what the fuck you're doing. When you know what the fuck you're doing, they will kiss your ass, okay? And I'm telling you that, okay? Take that from a bitch who can read. Take that from a bitch whose card has never declined for Houston's, let alone pizza, okay? I get pizza for the homeless, okay? Fantasia, call me, okay? I still got my books from C. Dick Run, C. Dick Jump. Okay, everybody know Cadillac know about dick. And everybody can go ahead and say, Cadillac, you told me so on Twitter, because I tried to tell y'all stupid, Oprah-loving ass that she did not pay for that damn trip to Australia. I tried to tell y'all ass I went on the mountain, over the hills, and every, everywhere trying to tell y'all stupid ass that Oprah had not paid for that trip. But oh no, Oprah is a troop. Oprah is a saint. Oprah is a motherfucking antichrist. Okay, that fat, thigh-rubbing, fried chicken-eating bitch. And I can't wait till she get caught by Stepman and Gail and Michelle fucking Obama. That fat bitch, I can't stand her. Tell I said it. Tony's almost finished with my nails, so I'm almost out of here, so let me get my shout-outs in, okay? Shouts out to MediaOutrage.com, my favorite place to go to get my entertainment news. MediaOutrage.com, you all are good to me, you all look out for me, and it was recently your third anniversary. Happy birthday to you. How about that? I appreciate you. Anybody who's following bloggers, MediaOutrage.com needs to be on your list. They update all day, every day, and they're so appreciative of you following them that anytime you correspond, you need links to certain things that have transpired, they are so nice, they will look it up and send it to you. Media Outrage, I sign off on them, they 100. Shouts out to Chris Brown, in my opinion, you have redeemed yourself, so you whoop Rihanna ass, that bitch got to get over it. I done had my ass whooped, and guess what? I bought it on myself. Sometimes we talk too much, okay? I done had a few loose teeth, and I'm okay, that bitch, she'll get over it, okay? Deuces, Rihanna, I'm with you, Chris, and you got down and take us. That stunt shit, you a bad motherfucker, okay? You redeemed, anybody who got a problem with your past, tell them to kiss your ass. Tell them Cadillac said it. Also, shouts out to Origin Now Entertainment filmmakers. Um, this Thursday night, I'll be at Justin's. I'm coming through for a few laughs. You know, uh, tickle your funny bone. Uh, we're having Quasinema a cinema event. It's a dinner and three short films. It's good for filmmakers to come out and network. Uh, it's going to be a nice event. Um, 
I'll be there about 8, 8.30, come through for a minute and uh, show some love. Uh, so shouts out to them. I appreciate them for reaching out to me and this collaboration. And major, major shout out to Super Nails, where I am now. They shut it down for me. They are good to me. We've been together for 14 years. I recommend you come. They are the business. I promise you on everything. I've been coming here for 14 years, and they've been good to me. Never had a problem. They care about healthy nails and customer service out the ass, baby. I'm talking real talk. I mean, on a Cadillac level. The number here is 770-612-0738. I'm super busy, so I got to go, but I love you so. And you can catch me on YouTube. You know that. Um, according to me, Cadillac Kimberly, this has been blog number 11. And you can catch the other ones. I suggest you watch them in sequence. And uh, follow me on Twitter, at Katie Kim. Good luck getting in, because my tweets are locked, man. All you all bring your ass to Super Nails. Make sure you see this. I end on this, okay? We don't fuck around. Cadillac level. Thank you. The elite only.